Now listen, I don't know if this is as messy as most of my stories, but it's kind of common to what we all used to over here on this page, on this channel. So this lady right here pretty much got stuck in the talking phase. Now when you hear this story time, you're going to kind of understand very quickly probably why she ended up getting stuck in the talking phase and why it probably didn't elevate past that and it ended up just going downhill from there. And maybe we all can learn from this mistake ourselves. It ain't just on her though, it's on both parties, but let's just get into the story time. But before we do, for those that are interested, her name is Vibes with Kayla on TikTok. So for those who are interested in more updates on this situation or just want to follow the creator because maybe you like her personality or whatnot, this is where you can go to find her. Now for the rest of y'all, let's get into the story time. I have been talking to this dude, this fine ass dude, and <laughs> I, I want to say when I first seen him, I definitely probably spotted him first, but he looked good, but I wasn't even really trying to be on anything, like, I just like to admire when somebody looks good, but I think we did hit it off, I got his number, but I'm the type, I'll get your number and really never text you, like, I have to see you in person because I won't really just communicate with you over the phone if I don't know you for real yet. So we really started hitting it off. He took me on a little date. But the problem was I got a little too comfortable and let him come over to my place. Like, I feel like when you first start talking to a dude, never let them come to your spot because they're going to feel a different type of comfort and they're going to lack giving this effort to get you because they see that, you know, you already comfortable enough to invite you in your shit. Like, y'all get what I'm saying. Like, don't invite dudes to your place when y'all first start talking. But the more we kept talking, like, we started seeing each other every single day. Um, but then it's, we started trying to chill on it because we are like, hold on. Like, we kind of doing too much. Like, it started giving relationship and we ain't even in a relationship. So I'm like, both people too comfortable. And we came to an agreement on that. And so he started chilling on that. But it's like once he started chilling on it, it became to the point where I only see him, like, once or twice a week. So mind y'all... I'm the type when I'm in a talking stage with someone, I'm not going to really press you. Like, I don't really want to show that little crazy side that's in me because it's like, we don't know each other like that. We're still getting to know each other. I don't know your life, your full life. You don't know mine. But I'm a big communicator. Like, I feel like everything is as simple as just fucking saying that. So, so more time started going by and I realized, like, I just started comparing it to every other guy I've ever dealt with. Like, every other guy I've ever dealt with, they always like me first. Like, niggas always like me first. I never want to like a dude first. I just feel like it's never smart to fuck with a dude more than he fuck with you. But I, I, I had realized, though, with him, like, we talk and he, he seemed like he liked me, but then I realized he never calls me. Like, this man would go all day. He don't call me. He don't, he'd take, he, he would text me first every morning and saying good morning. He texts me first every single day. But throughout the day, he really could never hold a conversation. Like, he was one of them what you doing type of people. He really don't know how to conversate over the phone. And I hate those types, honestly. But he had a great vibe in person. So I didn't know how to feel, y'all. I'm, I'm that type. I feel like anything that's bringing me confusion, I don't want to deal with this shit at all. Like, the mixed emotions. And then it, but at the same time, y'all... We kept coming to the agreement where we don't want a relationship yet. Like, we're just trying to talk. But the problem that I had with him and why I really had to cut him off because I'm, I'm the type, when I deal with someone, we're going to set this shit out on the table, what it is and what it ain't. And, like, I don't like to be in the blind. I don't, I need to know if I'm doing too much, if I'm bothering you, if you don't want to talk. If you don't feel the way that I do, if you don't like me, please say that so I can back up and give you your space. Because I'm one of them people that love really hard. Like, once I start liking you, I get real clean. Like, I, I, I want to spend some time with you. And I feel like people make time for what they want. So his excuse is just always, but I be busy. I'm not like these other dudes. Like, I really don't be on my phone trying to sit there and text all day. When it's the same person, y'all, I'll text him. And 30 minutes done went by, and I'm seeing him watching my story and everything. Like, <laughs> you're on social media. You're active as hell, and you're not texting back. So he would always just be like, like, I, I met his dad. His dad started making excuses for him. Like, it's like, no matter the age, men are not shit. 
the the dad just kept making excuses. I I mean, my son, he barely called, he barely answered the phone for me. Like, sir, I don't give a f I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, it's it's different when you're fucking with someone and you like someone. Like, we're at this big age. I don't care if you damn talk to your parent or not every day. But anyways, let me not get off topic. But point was, I would always, like, I like reassurance. And I would just randomly ask him. I'd be like, I'm not trying to be on no bullshit. I don't want to nag or argue with you. Like, we're cool. But, you know, do you want to continue talking? Like, what are we doing right now? Because we're doing relationship shit. Like, we're hanging. We're spending a hell of time together. So, I mean, yeah, I'm going to start liking you more. And his excuse would be like, no, I do like you. Of course, I like talking to you. But the nigga couldn't text back. It'll be times where he go more than three hours. Bitch, once it's over an hour, it's like it's wraps, bitch. He could just go hella hours without talking to me. Like, one day I remember people saying he was working on something from morning to fucking night. Bitch, what? I'm just sitting here reflecting on this because it's like, it's crazy. You could sit there and try to communicate and get somebody to just fucking say that, and they still won't say that. Like, why are people like that, for real? Because it's like, I'm already the type, I feel like once I'm repeating myself too much or I feel like I done brought up something that I kind of don't like and you're still doing it, it's coming off as big, and like, now I really have to back up off of you. And, bitch... And it's like, I think with him, when I would state that I have a problem, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even be tripping for real, y'all. I'd just be like, what's up with you? And I'd take some back all day. Or why I ain't heard from you all day? And he'll be like, you doing a lot. What? It was a red flag right there because do you think that's doing a lot? Like, baby, you don't, you don't even want to see when I'm actually on bullshit, if you think that that's a lot. Like, it literally was just me stating, like, you know, I don't like that you... You acting a little funny. No attitude or nothing with y'all. And he would just be like, you know, you kind of doing a lot. Like, what, bitch? So now you feel like it ain't my place to even speak about shit I feel away about. And I feel like when it when it gets to that point, though, where you make it a problem that I'm even expressing my feelings to you, let me just stop talking to you. I would quit talking to him, y'all. And that's when he calling me, like, you're not going to leave me alone. Why are you... Why are you acting like that? What do I need to do? He would pull up, bring some flowers. And then, but the next two days, next three days, next four days, I wouldn't see him. And we would text on and off. Like, why do niggas play like that? Why do niggas play with people like that? Uh, first of all, chill out. All of us are not the same. Now, women, ladies, I know y'all are watching this video and y'all got something y'all want to say. Tell me this. Did they not establish, like, the guidelines in the beginning remember she was like in the beginning we were seeing each other so much and we had to decide we had to decide that we were doing too much and we're not even dating okay so women hear me out hear me out hear me out if you tell a man's this that sounds like you're trying to like test your options so we're going to play all the way back that man went from seeing you every day to seeing you once a week. And now you like, I want it to be clear. I want him to tell me like what he wants. Y'all already established that. Y'all not going to be nothing but a talking. Y'all not, y'all only going to be talking. You should have left it alone. In the beginning, y'all was super both. Y'all was both invested. Y'all both sounded like y'all both wanted this relationship. And then somewhere, both of you just decided that we're doing too much. Let's chill out. So that's what he did. He chilled all the way out. You get one call a week. I'm going to hit you up. I'm not going to be right. I'm not about to be responding quick to somebody who don't want to be with me. Am I confused? Did I did I misinterpret what she said? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. This is wow. I mean, you asked for it and you received it. I think in the beginning of a relationship, y'all, y'all need to set boundaries. If you're planning on like being with somebody, the last thing you want to do is say, Let's slow down what we're doing and let's just take it slow. Because when you do stuff like that, that just gives off like bad signals. Maybe it's just me. But if somebody told me that personally, you you one of the bros now. <laughs> you sis, you one of the bros now. We just we just linky. We just whatever. Because that's what you established in the beginning. And then when he holds on to that, now it's just like, all right, now I don't want to date. I get what I want now. You Women, don't ever do this, okay? Don't ever do this. If you want longevity in your relationships and you want to actually get out of the talking stage, don't ever let a man feel comfortable. And I'm not trying to get on no simp stuff. 
But don't ever let a man feel comfortable with just getting you. He get full access to you without the benefits of being in a relationship. He was actually going to give you that relationship in the beginning, but you told him or y'all to decide together to put the pause on it. So I'm just confused. But let me know, ladies, in the comment section. What do y'all think? Am I wrong? Y'all always going to let me know when I'm wrong anyway. So just let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to follow this grid for more updates. <laughs>